And with that I say hello everyone and welcome to a new series where we're going to be playing Fantasy Life. Um, Fantasy Life is, a, as you can see, a, a 3DS game. Um, it has a little bit of a different um, layout than my usual um, DS play things. But that's also because... Oh, let me go in to show off uh, some things. What is it called? What is it called? There are some things I want to show off afterwards that I did on OBS. Um, but first, oh, I like the layout and such. But first things first, let's talk also about Fantasy Life. What is it of a game? Um, it's a crafting RPG. With all, like, it's an RPG where you can. You can do a lot of different things, not gonna lie. It's also quite fun. I enjoyed my time with it. I had the game back then and uh, when it came out um, on my 3DS. I played like a lot of it. I, I think I beat the, the main story, but I didn't do the post game. There is also a post game for this game. Um, the post game was a bit too much for me at that time. I don't think we're gonna do it either, because it was like... Are you, are you, okay, yeah, for... This music is throwing me off. It is so weird. Um, let's go with slot number 3, because that one has a green color behind it. So, we can create a character. Yippee! It is a, quite an interesting... Um, like designs, I, I find I quite enjoy it. Fun fact as well, um, there's gonna be a fantasy life. I, the girl who jumps time or something like that. That that's an anime. Let, let me check the name real quickly. And also, I have a fro I have, I have a frog in my throat. The girl who steals that. There you go. That's the name. Yeah, what do we do? We can be a, a tiny little a squat little guy. We can be a slim guy, we can be an average looking guy, we can be a chubby looking guy, or we can be a lanky looking guy. It's so fun that squat just is It just is, you know? I'll I'll think chubby. I I don't think I ever pick like chubby guys, so it's also a little bit more on how I would look. So we'll we'll go with that one. Um, I don't know what my face is. I think my angle is fine. Or should we go square? Uh, I think I'll take I'll take angular. Why it should be fine. Um, what can the hair color do? Oh, uh, hair color. I think I know what what we want. Or what I want. What I really really want. Uh. Oh, the shadow looks kind of nice. Oh, melon. Olive is also kind of good. You know what? I'll take olive. Let's see the bag. Bob and tail. Oh, of course, I was gonna go get my dog. There is so many different like options, and they're all kind of good. Not gonna lie, like they all look kind of nice. I like this one. I wish it kind of looked more like how the the picture showed it, but I guess this one is good as well. Wait, wait, I didn't that didn't mean that I wanted it? Bubble, little ponytail. Wind tails. You fun. No tail, big tail. Fangs. A bit hair. 
side tail. One that I think a lot of people picked. <laughs> and ears. Um. But that one, maybe no. Samurai. I think this. Did I pick that one? I don't remember. I picked what? The one that looked kind of like that, you know? It's kind of. I really something in my throat. This one does not. It's not giving me that much joy. Oh, look! What is your Eru? What is your Kirada? When did there, there is no gold? Or did I just not see it? Yeah, there is no gold. Okay, interesting. I can I kinda like the bow cut. <laughs> On the mop top. You know what? I wanna go tiny menace. Let's go with tiny menace. Cause it looks kinda funny. I think this is good, right? It took me a bit. <laughs> but there you go, I think this should be fine. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I wanted to listen to it. They all sound like not quite fitting. <laughs> I think this one's fine, right? As for the name, mm, let's go and go ahead and call ourselves then. Oh. Clown! The. Well, my name. Right? Is it okay? This name will be your display to others if you, are in if you enable communication. Choose your life you like to play as. Note, you can change your life during the main game as much as you want. And there were 12 classes in total. Yeah, okay. There's the Paladin. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, the Paladin, which has... I think Sword and Shield kind of deal. You have the Mercenary. Again... What was the Paladin again? No, do not remember. I remember there were like melee classes, there's a range class, the hunter, there's a magician, which is kind of funny. I think that was like my main class when I played it many many years ago. There's a mining class, the woodcutter class, there's the angler class, there's a cooking class, alchemist, tailor, carpenter, and blacksmith. All very fun. They all have like um, mini games you can play. And by mini games I mean like when you craft stuff, that's all. Mostly mini gaming. I think I'm gonna start with one of the fighting classes. Because they make it a little bit more easier to like understand how the game is, right? While these ones are like very heavy on the uh, you gotta collect items, you gotta do this, and you gotta do that. So, do we wanna change anything? What if I wanna become Pudgy? Pudgy <laughs> No one oh, screw it, I I will be tiny. I'm so small. I love it. Ah yes. I look at me. I'm just a small. It's so cute. I love it. I hope I can become a, a little one again in the the next game that comes out. Oh 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 wait, the wrong one. There you go, that's the one. I did say like I have some things that I can show off on OBS. Uh, and it's that. This is a magical and peaceful world. It's called Reveria. I used to look down on it from the sky. Now, I'm gazing up at the clouds. There's a hazy moon floating up there. It's called Lunaris. 
Lunaris bays various landscape with its beautiful silvery light that it uh, borrows from the sun. Dawn approaches. Is my hero nearby? I sense a presence. Someone deep in a conflict, a dream. Will they mine? Will they smith? Will, will they fell? Will they cook or sew or saw? Or will they fish, hunt, swing a sword, conjure, brew or fight for valor? All they have to do is choose the way they want to live their life. It is almost daybreak in Reveria. It is time for our story to begin. I think this is going to be the, like, the main screen that we're going to have. Like the main like way that my uh, video is going to look, right? Because uh, for one, this is what the, the bottom screen looks like. Nothing going on. And it has like m most nothing going on for most of the time. I think the places where it like, gets to shine most is when you have um, like you have a menu or something. Oh, you're doing mini games. Oh my, oh me. Oh, oh me, oh my. You have your full out of the bed. No, Pam. I heard a huge stump right now. That came running. I thought one of those cats. Huh? What shall I call it? Stones had fallen on our house or something. What are you gulping up, my dear? Did you have a strange deer? Uh, a strange dream? Eh, uh, nope. Nothing uh, strange in my dreams. Well, I had a funny dream. A dream about you getting a big bump on your head. I'm just glad they didn't come through the ceiling. Those floorboards are old and creaky. Oh, by the way, I heard you finally chose a life. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Such excitement. Have you checked the mailbox? There might be a letter from the king. Pop outside and check. That's a deer. <coughs> Look at us. We should take it. It's so tiny but mighty. Okay, let's go outside. I do, I do wonder how the game is in the future. Uh, not in the future. Um, also, interestingly enough, um, my video is in 60 FPS. I'm gonna change that for the future. Um, the game runs in 30 FPS, so nothing I can do there, I think. Over here, my dearie, there's a mailbox. Look! In your mailbox, you'll receive letters from townspeople, flyers from local shops, and so on. Occasionally, you will get a letter that is vital to the progression of the story. You can also view tutorials or in game to be featured in the form of letters to check your letters to review a tutorial if you get stuck. Oh, yeah, fun fact um, the bottom screen, a map! So that's cool. And also we can open up the menu if we can go like this and then go like that. Ba -ba -da. And I'm noticing uh, it also shows us this thing over here. Okay. Yeah, but... Ooh, oh yeah, I remember. There's like a, a lot and a lot of items you're gonna get. So let's prepare for that when that comes. More to a thing. I can see you. Thank you. I wonder if I should use them like this when we're in the menus instead. Oh, not that one. Oh wait. There's that one. <coughs> a letter from the king. Oh, never mind, not that one. <laughs> Dear clone, once you have received your license, I will regret your presence at the royal court. King Eric of Castell. Okay. We got a letter from the king. Let's tell that Pam. Pam! The king, isn't it? Look, there's a royal seal on the envelope. I remember my letter from the king. Everyone gets one when they start first, uh, start their first life. But you'll need a life license first before you appear in front of the king. Do you have one already? Um, uh, no. Pop into the guild office for your license before heading up to the castle. The guild's office is over there in the square, you see? Oh, yeah, that's also something that's kind of annoying. You can't change lives in the middle of the map. You need to come back here. It's quite close, so you won't get lost. But I'm marking on your map, just in case. Your next story of Jacobus is played on, on, on the banner. At the top of the touch screen. An arrow pointing you to your direction is also displayed. Follow the arrow to get lost. If I remember correctly, you can also play with your mouse. Oh dear, you look a little green about the guilds. I know, I'll give you a nice piece of candy to saddle your stomach before you meet the king. That's a healing item. 
Open in your pouch, dearie. That, that way you'll have it close by. Pouch one. Yeah, okay, we can put items in our pouch. Run along to the castle then, my dear. But don't forget to stop the guild office first. Prelude! Welcome to Revelia! Very nice, very nice. I'm looking forward to playing this game again. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's been like forever! And I've been meaning to play it since forever! Let me first put my candy on the. For the pouch, like I said. There you go. Ooh, save. Let's also save. Do we want to save with our dwarf blessing stars? I don't remember what either of those mean. <laughs> However, that's not gonna be the end just yet. We're gonna do some more. Uh, who are you again? Are you the staff? Welcome to the guild office. Whatever your life, we're here, we're here to help. Need a license? We've come to the right place. Okay, let's do it then. Also, if I sound a little bit off, it might be because I'm I'm sick. I'm already so high. All right, lady, I know you who you are. I know what you are. You're clone, aren't you? Oh well, here's your novice license. Don't go losing it now. Yippee! That was so much fanfare, more than I expected. Receive the hunter license from the guild master. Why are you here? Why, why? How about I lay down some downs, some live lessons? Listen to me, laddie. Now about the license of yours. In your area, your vocation is known as your life. To begin a new life, you must first obtain the license for that life from the guild's office. Each life is governed by a separate master. After getting a license, speak to the master of your chosen life. They will teach you essential skills. Your rank will rise as you com uh, complete certain life achievements. As your ri uh, rank rises, you will become able to utilize different skills. Each life comes with a different set of skills to learn. However, you can continue to use skills you learned in a previous life, even when playing under a different one. Oh, nice. That do for a start. Why do you, do you don't want to keep your majesty waiting now, do you? If you got any questions, Come and talk to me about it later, okay? You know the way to the castle, don't ya? Go out of the uh, guild office and head north. Eek! What, 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 what's that noise? I didn't mean to offend. Please, just let me flutter by. Think you're clever, eh, do ya? You let me get bench, do you? I get back here. We won't let you escape. I wasn't trying to pun. Someone, help! There's a couple of child. Someone in the square, by the sounds of it. Hmm. Who's fluttering outside there? Let's go check. So nostalgic. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I can't find my kitty cat. Have you seen it? In and off chasing after a, bottle a butterfly. I think that this might be the kitty. Not as a bird. <laughs> you look so much like a poodle from mine. Now just settle down, will ya? We ain't gonna hurt ya. Please, just let me go. I think we're just gonna let you go after what you said. But I didn't mean anything by it. Oh, it's too late for that, me doing, me young one. Quit trying to warm your way out of here. Now, please, don't stick a pin in me and put me in the display case. I beg of you. Don't turn me into a broke, so I'll help it. Oh, please. Uh, 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 kind of over, eh? Still, a talking butterfly is kind of rare, ain't it? Aye, we'll be eating well tonight. You're going to eat me? We're not going to eat you. We're going to sell you and become rich, man. No. Are you, are you there? Would you help her? Sure, let's go help her. I think you can say no, but the game is like, really? You're not gonna have a little butterfly? I have no idea who you are, but I thank you for your bravery. Still, I must refuse your help. I must try to deal with these ruffians by myself. Oh, hear that? Now she's calling us ruffians. I know you made my bro bad. Ah, I hope you're done. Now you're done for me, little, little lad. I'm just slowly starting out. I can't let it end like this. Hey, you, actually, I do need your help after all. Hey, you guys want to pucker up those lips on yours? Let me smack them. Let's see, what can we do for help? Huh? You gonna have another sub these butterfly? A buppity? A butterfly? Listen, but I don't have a brain. Quick for half a minute, will ya? And you know, it. 
I think that because of my nose, I go play you or somewhere else. I think we're gonna stop just cause you asked it nicely, hey? Eh? <laughs> we're still parados. We make our own rules and we'll do anything to get our hands on dust. My half a, my half a minute let up. Listen, kid, can't really know what we do. We make mushrooms and flowers, and we go fishing, and we sell our spoils for dust. Dust is the Reveria used in Reveria. Dust is the what in Reveria? Dosh is a currency used in Reveria. There you go. Maybe I can read. That's the money. And I do love me some money. Um, if you really want to help the butterfly, give us your dosh. All of it. Empty his pockets. All right, bro. It's so funny, funny, like. Brace yourself for shock, bro. This kid ain't got a m no single dosh. But like, there was one, um... YouTuber that I was always watching as a kid that said the money that specific way and I'm like it's stuck in me I can't say it any other way now what oh, forget about the butterfly kid you've got butter, bigger problems but you know you can't get by in this world without dos hmm? what's this oh you found some in the dos ain't no dos it's a piece of candy no dos just one piece of candy I'm sorry sorry for the kid now why is better than nothing? Hand it over. My, my candy. My candy. Listen up, kid. Mind your own business in future. And make some dust. My bro is pretty smart, eh? Make some dust. That's his motto. They stop me, candy. You you owe me a candy flutter. You saved me from an extremely sticky situation. Thank you so much. I wanted to know all about the kid, different kinds of lies, so I've been going around asking everyone. And when I saw those two, I had to ask, what life do you two belong to? Goon? Oh, And then, started yelling at me and chasing me. I can't imagine why. I'm so lucky you came along. I owe you an eternal debt. Well, I have something important to do, so I'll be taking my lead now. Uh, which way was the castle again? Chubby do no here, shouldn't it? Yeah, right that way. Oh, there it is. Farewell then, and good luck. Good luck to you. Don't get eaten. Who's this? Oh, Taylor. Say, what's your take on fashion? <laughs> so I didn't mean to interrogate you. Welcome to the fashion boutique. Well, I waited for a reply from my lovely divorce so long I turned into a postbox. I want somebody to write a musical about my tragic, tragic life. No. And we can already see like a couple of <laughs> different like stores for each of the life you can get. Sounds so weird. Welcome to the life. Gracias, Joseph Cassandra will do anything to um for us valiant paladins. No no way, wrong way around. Us valiant paladins will do anything for a fitting of Castell. There you go, much better. Hello to you. Welcome to Castel Castle. My king is currently residence within the royal court. His majesty is, majesty is most gracious to his subjects. But please, be quiet as a mark in, in respect. Okay, so. Hold it right there. It's the royal court. We do not allow anyone to uh, pass through here unless they have properly attired. I'm not saying you need to be in full military appar apparel, but I'm afraid that your look uh, does not come. Blow with the regal, royal regulations. At least put on a tie or wear a bow or something. It's the king we're talking about, you know. Oh, you meanie! Shh, keep your voice down. Oh, please, please let me in. What's happening now? Oh, hello again. I must say, I've never seen a butterfly that sparkles and talks before. This person is a big meanie. It won't let me see the king. Ah, no one's being mean. We shouldn't simply don't allow interest in the court, royal court. Put them away. The king doesn't have time to listen to the planning of a butterfly. Butterfly is a very busy man. Sorry, but I have no choice in the matter. I was asking to leave. Hmm. Can't believe it. The prejudice of one faces simply for being a butterfly. By the way, what are you doing here at the castle? Is so the king invited your person? But he turned you away for not wearing a tie. Oh, ho, oh, ho, it! Wow, you just had a brilliant idea. Do you want to give it a try? Uh, sure, why not? Okay, stay where you are. Don't move an inch. 
Okay, here goes Ranger. You show your channel a little. Yippee! Uh, you you went into my mouth. No, okay. Ta-da! You heard of a bow tie? But well, let's say hello to the butter tie. We got a butter tie. Yippee! Let's walk. <laughs> Maybe this time we can meet the king. Right, Squadron, I told you, your outfit is simply not. Oh, what's that sparkling on your chin? Well, it's a bow tie. Well, that changed everything. Yes, yes, it do. It looks quite expensive. Should have put it on earlier. Just a splendid tie. Uh, it seems to be fluttering slightly. Still, it certainly complies with the reg re regulations. Please, pass free. Thank you. Alright, I'm so excited. I wonder what the king's like. Uh, I do not remember. I do not remember at all what the king looked like. I don't think I remember like... M it was a tiny king! Ah, so you've come. I'm Eric, 11th king of Castel and ruler of the realm. Our citizens pursue many varieties of life and lead to lead our great kingdom to prosperity. As king, permit me to congratulate you on this auspicious day. With the life you've chosen... Uh, what life was it again? Hee <laughs> hee, darling, really? Uh, well, it, uh, it made us not. May the life you have chosen lead you on the path of glory. The king is uh, surprisingly cute. He's like a little boy. Mumbling to yourself, are you? Pray tell, does my speech bore you? Be assured, my loyal subject, that the right formalities are now finished. Allow me to introduce my wife, Queen of Failure of Castell. Clone, congratulations on starting your life. For the sake of the kingdom, and more importantly, for those you hold dear, please do your very best to walk hard on your new life, day by day. She's beautiful, and she smells like a meadow in spring. The dutifully smiling, smiling young lady to my right is my daughter, Laura. Uh, darling, Laura's gone out. Uh, again? Ah, oh, well. She defies me conscious about going out, so... A sense... Sense? And so bodyguard, I don't know what to do with her. She sounds like a wild princess. Returning to the matter at hand, as you have now chosen your life, I should like you to take this opportunity to request that you conduct yourself with pride as a true Castellian. All for one and one for all. Enjoy your chosen life and spread joy to others. Gather much dust if that is your wish. Count your life with stars if that is your be your desire. Pursue a life full of bliss if ye so wish it. All who reside in the great land of Rovaria are free to live their life, however they see fit. Clone the hunter. Follow your own path of life. I remember your life again now. Yeah, gifts from the royal family. Wishing you good luck and prosperity in the future. <gasps> We're really sucking we can retire. <laughs> and the world man! Holy moly! I've also furnished you with novice equipment. Try it on, please. The God of Gifts can be enjoyed at your leisure later on. Oh, look at me! <laughs> I look like a little gremlin. Yippee! Well, clown, you're really on your way now. You can change your equipment by going to the menu and no. It suits you well. I'm somewhat envious. Hehe, <laughs> our oh, darling. On to the next matter of business. Each life is governed by the separate master. The act is mentors of uh, to new recruits. Everyone begins, begins their life as a novice under the tutelage of a master. That's the way it's done. Once you have earned your master's respect, they will promote you to the pleasant rank of your life. If you work diligently, you too may eventually reach the rank of master. Or you may yet surpass that rank and reach that of a hero or even a legend. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, you must greet the hunter master. May doing so prepare you for your new and exciting chapter in your life. The prelude has been completed. Yippee! Well then, clone, my subject, you must make haste to your master. I wish you eternal luck as a member of the Hunter Life. Should you ever become disheartened, you are always welcome to draw strength here at the castle. I think, thank you, thank you. Let me leave. Um, what to do then? Should we? I do wanna, like, how should I go about with the, the live system, right? Oh, the jobs. Off I get. Oh, don't wanna continue? Oh, well, I guess it's fine. 
Oh, that was such fun. Thanks to you, I got to see the king. Thank you so much. Clone, good luck on your new life. Well, I guess this is where we part ways. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, you look great in those new dots. Thank you. But don't, don't you feel a little bare around the neck area, clone? Uh, uh say, say, I thought it'd be alright on my own, but I, actually, people keep trying to catch me, and it turns out there isn't a butterfly life. I really, really, really want to know more about this world. Could I come with you, clone? Oh, please, I beg of you, take me with you. You yeah, okay, well, okay. Hooray! Thank you, thank you. By the way, you can call me Flutter. Okay. We got our bow tie now, our bow tie. We have to go and see your master next, right? No, where could I be? King gave you a map. I bet we can figure out where the master is by looking at the map. On the map menu, you can open it. Yeah, I know, I know. Wait, wait, wait. Was it the, uh... I think you can like um, fast travel as well, but that's good. And saving often, yeah. You can save. Ma manipulating time? What? What was that about manipulating time? I didn't see it. I need to look at that afterwards again. Anyway. Anyway. Let me go ahead and see then uh, what we have over here on the map. Can go home. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah, no, I don't think we need that. Oh, look at that. There's a uh, a thing on the right. Okay, I think that's where we need to go. So let's go. Hmm. But should I keep the prologue? Like. Oh wait. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. This, the Royal Castell Workshop, this is where you start when you're a carpenter, blacksmith, or a tailor. Very fun uh, classes as well, not gonna lie. I enjoy those. Uh, you also have a pub over here. Welcome to the first Apple Sheep Cafe! Uh, first and um, only. Okay. Then we have over here uh, Douglas, and this thing. You look like an animal person. Pet your pet. Your pet name may only appear to others in multiplayer. Sure. Oh, you don't have enough flesh. I always said uh, um, pets are happy people. Oh. You know, I would become happier if I had a pet. But I guess it's fine. I thought it was also like um, a system. Oh, cute. Because I can't win this. They're also a carpenter. Hello, Cherry. I'm building a doghouse for Beaver and Bevo. What do you mean, why? Because they're dogs. What? What? They're beavers? No, 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 no. They're not. I thought they were. Oh, well. Um. We gotta get out. Because our master is at the, um, the outer rim of the city. Because you can't really do much hunting in the, uh, the castle, you know? So you gotta get out, you gotta so live out. Look, there's even the uh, the witch over here, Hazel. Magic is really amazing, you can use the elements to cast all kinds of spells. If it's true, we call it harnessing the power of birds. Well, how about it? Do you want to learn how to become a magician? Yes, but um, we can't really now, because we need to, we need to um, become a bit better at our job, and only then can we really learn it. But there you go. This is where our master is. This is Fern, the the hunter master. We also have here Lucky. Okay, it's not a kitty. It's a dog. Woof! Have you said hello to Mrs. Mr. Fern? Uh, not yet. But you know what? Can I? Hmm. I can't really zoom into my character. I think it's fine. Um, we do have a character like that. There you go. I love him! I love him so much! <laughs> I didn't know I had like a... Oh, you use a dagger as well, okay. I have the Castell shirt, we have the Hunter tunic. Do they have like different defenses? They do. You can also go naked. Oh, 
Hmm, my laptop sh shoes are. Oh, ah, wait, no, they're the same rank as the other one. Okay, never mind. All the other kind of um, equipment. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> it looks so cute. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see. Uh, I was uh, over here looking at the items. We don't have much. We only have like a dagger, a hat, two tunics, two trousers, two shoes, uh, two pairs of shoes. We of course have, we have two shoes. But anyway, that's gonna be it then for today, I think. I was gonna save it, but uh, in fact, you can't. There's only like the safe spots that we, we've seen before. But I hope you guys are looking forward to this. I really, ooh, I really am. Um, I love this game. I'm so looking forward to the next one coming out um, in October. And I really want to get it like the and then play it. But it's also going to be for the Switch, which I still have, thankfully. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.